All right, let's write another process writing. This one is from IELTS Academic 15. As usual, we need to understand the statement. The diagram below shows how instant noodles are manufactured. As you know, the instruction is always the same in writing task one. Uh, we need to summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Now, step two is to spend some time on the process to understand it. All right, so uh, let's start with step one, storage silos. Uh, flour is transferred from silos to the factories. Uh, step two, mixer. They mix flour with water and oil using a mixer, a machine to produce dough and the rollers turn it into sheets. And after that, the machine turns into strips and then they're put into noodles discs and then they're cooked in oil or fried and then they go through the drying process. Then we have the packaging stage uh, where vegetables and spices are added to the cups and then those cups are labeled and sealed. So for the overview, as you know, for process writing, we mentioned the number of steps. So here we have eight steps or stages and also the beginning and the ending points, but we need to also be specific. So we can group these stages into three and mention them as the main steps in the overview. So steps one, two, three, four, I grouped them as dough production. Uh, steps five and six, I put them together as cooking and drying. In steps seven and eight, I put them together, I grouped them as packaging. So I'll mention this one as well in my overview. Now it's time to write. The first thing to write as usual is the paraphrase. This is my paraphrase. The diagram illustrates the process of producing instant noodles. So as usual, I deleted the word below because there is nothing below my writing. Instead of shows, I used illustrates. And instead of how instant noodles are manufactured, I used the process of producing instant noodles. This is my model answer. We just read the paraphrase together. Let's read the overview. So we said we mentioned the number of steps, the beginning and the ending points. Overall, the process consists of eight stages from the flower storage to the products packaging. Now it's time to add the groups I talked about earlier. The main steps are producing dough strips, cooking, drying and packaging the noodles. Now I'll start from stage one to step eight and describe them one by one. The process initiates with the transfer of flour from the storage silos. So that is step one. Now step two. This flour is mixed with water and oil in a mixer to form a doughy substance. Step three. Subsequently, the dough is passed through rollers, shaping it into thin sheets. Now step four. These sheets then undergo the fourth stage where another machine cuts them into strips giving the noodles their distinctive shape. Step five, afterward, the strips are transformed into noodle discs prepared for cooking in oil. Step six, once cooked, the noodles undergo a drying process before they're placed in cups, setting the stage for the final step. Now, step seven and eight. The last phase of the process focuses on packaging where packets containing vegetables and spices are added and labels are affixed to the cups. And now the last one, sealing. Finally, the label cups are sealed. I organized my answer in three paragraphs. In the first one, I paraphrased and wrote the overview. And in the next two paragraphs, I described the process from the start point to the end point. In doing so, I used these words to describe the process. You can see them in red. In this slide, you can find the sequencers and also the words that I used to connect my sentences. If you've noticed, I mostly use passive forms in this writing. You can find them here in this slide. All right, hope you found it useful. Have a nice day.